This bed is the let your neighbors know you're doing it bed. Pillow talk. Welcome uh, back. Welcome back. Uh, guys, this is going to be a serious, serious pillow talk because it's a very upsetting topic. You're all serious and upsetting. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm 39. <laughs> If I make a joke, people would be like, yeah, yes. totally. I can live by it. You look like you're 45 years old. Sarah's turning 30 soon. Mm -hmm. In about seven years. And we're going to talk about what it's like to be single in your 30s. Because guess what? It sucks some major ass shit. Well, and it happens. <laughs> happens. People are single now in their 30s. Before, we used to die when we hit 30. But now we're just single in our 30s. And I think that's much worse. For those of you that are not 30, um, this is your future. And guess what? It's not bright. Those oh. of you that are no longer 30 because you're too old, Lord help us all. One of the things about being single when you're 30 mm -hmm. sucks so bad because it's the pressure is on. As soon as you turn 30... 40's right around the corner. You're like, I don't want to be single when I'm 40. And then when I'm 40, I am fucked. I think this is going to really stress people out because when you're 30's not that old. No, I know. And there are a lot is. of very eligible, very attractive 40 year old women. That's true, but I'm not going to be one of them. We got to the core of That's today's episode. I'm going to be one of those old, depressing men on Queer Eye. And they're going to be like, you're what, 65? And I'm like, 41. And they'll be like, are you a woman or a man? And they'll be like, I don't know anymore. We're going to get rid of just all that facial hair that you have for some reason. <laughs> no, it was just 41-year-old me. <laughs> okay, so let's right. stop ripping on 40-year-olds because most of them are hot. I will not be hot. Go back to 30. Go back to being single in your 30s. Mm -hmm. Dating is difficult in general. Yeah, but when you're 30 and you're fucking set in your ways and you just don't like anyone, how the hell are you going to find someone that's going to like you? It sounds like you're saying is you need to lower your standards. But your standards are so high because just, yeah. in your 20s, you were dating all those losers for two weeks. <laughs> From your 20s to your 30s, your bar just continues to rise. I, but then I think, you know, you got to bring it back down a little Once bit. you hit 40, Sarah, is when it starts going back down okay. and you're like, I don't want to be single when I'm 50. Dang. You see high jumping people, they hit the bar and then they're like, Ugh. Yes. That's like people trying to date you in your 30s. Okay, I'm going to make a book of your fucking analogies because they're out of control. That's all you do. Sarah, I see jokes and then you come in with an analogy that makes no sense, but somehow makes sense. In, in what world do my analogies make no sense? They make... Perfect set. Okay, next about being uh, single in your 30s is how the fuck can, do you find someone? Because guess what? We're too old to be using dating apps because dating apps are for you youngins. And so dating apps, we don't do it. We don't go out. We don't leave our houses. We don't go to bars. We don't go to clubs. We don't go to girl parties because we're 30. So where are we going to meet someone at the grocery store? Like, we're fucked. Bingo? Cat bingo. Cat bingo, maybe. Yeah. What's it like for you personally, Sarah? It's great. I have lots of freedom. Um, I order whatever I want when I get takeout. Um, sounds like something I would say. I watch whatever I like on Netflix. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe, you know what? Maybe being with someone in your 30s, that's the problem. What, what is the age where you just, you make that pact? With your friend. Um, you know, Sarah? When we're like, hey, Sarah, if uh, we're both single when we're 40. 95. I've never made that pact. Well, let's make this pact. Let's make it. Let's make it right now. Okay, all let's right. Let's make it, okay? okay? All right. If we are both, I feel like you'll stop being hot at 50. <laughs> I feel like you got 20 more years still of hotness. Okay, I'll take that. I've stopped already. So I'm just going to, I've plateaued. Yeah. The, I've plateaued at the ugliness. Down. We're going down. Well, you're right. I'll probably go down. <laughs> but I think at 65, I will turn into just finally a cute old lady. When and we're you'll retired? Be an old lady. When we're retired. Yeah. Okay. What's the real age? What do you want to do? Like, it's like you don't want to marry me. <laughs> How about if we're 40? 40. That's yes. a good age. Because no one wants to be single when they're 40. This is a contract now. I guess it's on the internet. You, leave it in the comments. How old you are, and if you're single, and if you're worried about being single forever. Or if you're 30, and what sucks, or maybe you're like, I like it. I like not dating anyone, because people suck. 
And if you guys don't know, we have a brand new movie called Nobody Famous. It's a dark comedy. It's coming out in the spring. In the spring. But if you guys follow Nobody Famous on Instagram and Twitter, links are in the description. And we're dropping new a trailer soon. Trailer, oh, new man. poster, release date. So much Go check it out. You can also sign up on the nobodyfamousmovie.com website. Perfect. Um, so that maybe you miss the poster or you miss the trailer. You will get an email the day it is available and where you can see it. Thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. Yeah, thanks so much, guys. We'll we see really you next appreciate Monday. it. Thank you so much.